हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू आवर चैनल माय नेम इज बलराम प्रसाद एंड आई एम वर्किंग विद माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एज ए सीनियर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर इन टूडेज डेमो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट ए सर्विस प्रिंसिपल इन अजूर ए डी हाउ वी कैन जनरेट ए सीक्रेट हाउ वी कैन असाइन सर्विस प्रिंसिपल टू रिसोर्स ग्रुप और रिसोर्सेज देन वी आर गोइंग टू यूज पोस्टमैन टूल टू जनरेट टोकन यूजिंग दैट सर्विस प्रिंसिपल एंड सीक्रेट and then also we are going to see how token looks like into jwt io tool so let's start so for this demo we are into azure portal let's search for azure active directory which sometime we call like the ad also this is the default page for ad where we can see various options what is the tower tenant id what is the domain for primary domain and uh, what are the different settings which we have right now and in this default page we can see that how many users are there inside this tenant how many groups are there how many applications and how many devices are there so this is that ui which is inside microsoft azure and azure ad can be managed from inside azure portal and also there is another ui microsoft indra which has simpler and integrated experience for managing all identity and access management needs so we can go and see that how microsoft indra ui looks like so if we go inside this intra admin center we can see that we have lot of different tools over there we can go for azure active directory and we can see similar settings we have over there and we can manage from that place also but right now i am going to create this service principle using azure portal itself so i am going inside once back into azure portal for creation of service principle we need to go for app registration and let's go and when we go we have multiple tabs over there uh, whatever application i own that will be listed and in all application whatever applications are present inside this directory which is selected it will list over there. we can also go and see whatever deleted are there and other uh, default applications from personal account that we can go and see but uh, right now let's go and create a new app registration for creation of new app registration we can go on new registration when we come to register an application we have to provide name and then which account type it will be there and what is the purpose what is the redirect uri so let's put the name name can be changed later also so right now i am going to put the name that softwidge web app demo so right now i'm going to create this as single tenant because i have only one ad setup we can have multiple ad setup for enterprise type of application where we can create application which if we want to visible into other tenants and if we want to access other tenant resources also we can have multi tenant and similar use case for different settings which we have right now and if we see little bit more details we can see the different type of account we can have the next setting will be what is the redirect uri that is optional setting and we can try to see that one if we are going to use this one from mobile and desktop kind of application of web or a single page application and we can provide that in inside login page generally we use for redirect uri purpose and other things so that purpose we can use so right now i am going to keep that is optional for now i am going to register this uh, now our application is registered now we can go and see the different settings provided here uh, we can get that what are the different api permission if this application has right now it has only one application permission which is user dot read we can add that other api permission if we wanted to do that one it can call the azure cosmos db it uh, it can call the azure keyword related api and other things it, it can have that kind of permissions also and after that we can see that how the token configuration is there what what are the different claim it can have and all the details we can see and we will see in different videos for the details right now we are going to see what kind of secret we can create we can have we can upload certificate 
if you have any certificate and you want to validation with a service principal with certificate without any key then you can use this one and if you wanted to use any client secret for validation purpose then you can create a new client secret and we will see that one how to create that one right now so let's create a test and you can provide that when this client secret is going to expire so let's provide that one uh, three months and I will go ahead and add that one so we can see this uh, this is the secret ID and this is the value so we this is the client ID we can leverage this client ID and this secret to generation of tokens I'm going to copy this and put into notepad so that we can use that so I'm going to keep this as secret and then I am going to take this application ID and also we need to have tenant id so that we can use this tenant id to generate our token if we wanted to use that one so before going to before going to create a token i will go ahead and see that how we can give the access some of the resource access to this application right if we go to default directory now if we refresh this page we can see that our software app demo is there and certificate and secret are current not expired in in on section also we can see that we have these details and now if we go inside any resource like suppose i have this resource group where i want to give this spn as a permission and i wanted to add that spn then i can go to iam and I can go inside add role assignment in what kind of role I want to give I want to give honor contributor on or any specific role like we can have a storage blob reader contributor or any other readers right we can have that detail so suppose I want to give a contributor access to this guy then I can go ahead and say that hey I want to assign access to this user group or service principal where I will go ahead and I will search by name and I will provide this name and I can select and then I can go ahead let me review and assign now this service principal has been added as a contributor and whatever contributor related work this service principal can be used for that purpose so now let's go ahead and you can give the on individual label also suppose you wanted to give only on the snaps and you can go ahead and add this service principle on a specific resources instead of giving it to resource group or you can add on that subscription level if you wanted to go into subscription level and want to provide the details on the subscription level top level itself you can go ahead add this use as a contributor or reader or whatever you want to do that one and a specific role you can assign and add that but always keep in mind that whatever only required give access to that resources only not more than that one at a, at a best practices of security right we can do that now as we have added this service principle here in that one and also we have now app id and secret i will go ahead and try to create a token for this one so for token creation let me download a tool called postman and then i will use that tool for postman and see that how we can create a token So this is postman tool which is generally people use for api calls and other thing for testing purpose i am going to create collection first and this collection will be that software demo let me put the name where we will call different apis for the demo purpose so once our collection is created we can go ahead and add a request and request we can have put any name over there like token generation and 
this will be post call so i'm going to change the post call and we can have different type of verbs you can use for different call for url if you are doing some other calls for this call i'm going to have post and this url post url we can go ahead inside azure active directory and once again go to app registration and we can go to endpoint in endpoint we can get uh, url so for token endpoint we need to use this v21 and token endpoint we are not using authorization flow or other things so let's grab this one for v2 or v1 if you wanted to use v1 flow then this is the v1 flow so we can go ahead and let's check for v2 and once we put the details we have to go in authorization tab and we have to say that which kind of authorization we have to use so let's go for basic authorization and i will go ahead and uh, put that username as our app id which we got from spn creation and then we will get the secret and i will put the secret over here so once we provide this uh, details for authorization and then we have to go inside our body and inside body we have to select form data and we have to provide couple of things over there one is our grant type so we have to say that grant type and we can see that little bit more details how to access token and we have to provide that grant type which will be for in this case which will be client credential so we can pass that one and then we have to pass a scope also for which scope we are going to get the generation of the token so i am going to use this right now app id and let me see if i can use that app id also or not so i am going to now click on send now i can see that i got the token and if you wanted to see little bit more about token then i can go ahead and so we can go and there is a tool called jwpio so we can go over there and we because this is json web token so we can go ahead and we can paste all the details and see that okay this is the audience is this this is your issuer and this is that all the suspiry and other details what is the app id all the details we can see and uh, this is the audience which uh, we used for a scope and other details we can see all the details which is inside this token in that uh, format so we can use this now to call any api and azure api and using this scope where this app has access it we can call and we can do a lot of different stuff and we will see this one into next video so this was the basic how we can generate a token how we can see that the token details and what is the type and other details we can see how we can create service principle and how we can assign to access now let's go and see that one this was our token and we can delete existing secret also so that in this case now we have seen that our secret so i am going to delete this one so it can't be used that client secret for generating in tokens and other things and used because i have added into resource group also and that's why we need to make sure that whatever secret we generate it should be secure and kept somewhere which has very less people access uh, we, we generally keep into key vaults and other things and key vault has more security this is the service principle can be used from lot of different scenarios where we have to run any background operation or if we have to call any api on behalf of any application or not in from the context of the user and other details we will see how to use this spin in multiple places into next videos thank you i hope you will like this video mm -hmm.